the new brawler hank just released and this was a story of how i was the first person in the world to fully master him by completing his entire master attack for the title and also pushing him to rank 35 and our first priority was to get the rank 35 push out of the way as fast as possible now some of you may have already seen this video but for those of you that did not let me fill you in quick as soon as we unlocked hank we instantly realized that he was absolutely broken we were one-shotting literally everyone in showdown oh. Dude, 17,000. Now, this was happening because of a bug that way overscaled his damage whenever we received a damage buff. It was literally crazy. But then later, we hopped into Brawl and figured out you could shoot past or whatever while still blowing a main attack bubble. And this was just so unfair. Watch this. Pass the ball. Pop the bubble, too. The bubble still continues to, to grow. Like... You can still shoot it and kill someone after that. Not to mention, we also found out that Hank Super was also broken because you literally melted anyone on top of you. Does that show you? It is melted everyone. Now, these bugs caught the eyes of everyone and mainly the Brawl Stars team. As they tweeted out, a nerf was inbound coming for Hank next week, which literally only gave us a few more days to fully master him while he was at his full power. So we got to work and pushed him as fast as possible before his imminent nerf. And we were going crazy fast. We hit 500 trophies easy, 750 trophies easy, and then we even hit 1,000 trophies in only five hours. We even capped our master day one pretty fast too because basically Hank gets star player every game because of his output damage is crazy and he's an op healing because he's a tank but now day number two was a bit more interesting word spread about that hank with a pits turret did crazy damage it basically one shot everyone like over 6k damage and then if you add roughs into the mix it goes to 10,000 damage thanks ben for showing this on twitter but because of that almost every team we faced was doing this now we somehow still got to 1100 trophies fairly easy now it was time for us to join the crew and use that to our own advantage and that took us all the way to our rank 35 game. Mortis is a new one. But Tyrant took care of his lane. And that's one goal. One more goal to go. Okay. Melted him. It's going to heal quick. Should be able to score this. Let's go, dude. Bugs and all, rank 35. So just like that, we accomplished part one to fully mastering Hank. Now, all we needed to do was the simple task of grinding a total of 6K mastery points a day for the next few days, and then 800 on the last day to try and be the first player to completely master him. It should be easy, right? Well, no. The start of day three was literally a nightmare. Because we pushed all the way to 1250, it backfired a lot on us. Because every game took eight to 12 minutes just to find a match when you're that high in trophies and that is not an effective way to push masteries so we had to do the painstaking task of dropping a ton of trophies to get him back just to optimal trophy pushing range which in my opinion is 900 trophies to a thousand but sadly dropping him from 1250 took forever we had to wait 10 minutes just to find games in showdown just to lose and it took almost an hour just to drop to 1150 and then it took another hour just to get around 1000 again but now we were finally low enough so we could start grinding again and honestly i was so happy Happy because the matches are faster and the games are better but we chose brawl ball once again because just brawl ball is fast for grinding and the rest of the day was still op hank because he, he hasn't been nerfed yet it took us about six more hours until we were finally capped at 18,000 masteries and now it was on to day four which was saturday but the hank nerf was probably coming monday because he said next week so all we had to do was push all day get 6,000 mastery points stay up late for the last 800 and then we beat the nerf and then we are hopefully the first person in the world and i'm gonna be honest it was going extremely well is that fair I don't think so. <laughs> Get out of here. Like, Edgar. That was Eve's ultimate play with five hatchlings and did nothing. <laughs> Hank's like, no, don't need it. So we just continue grinding, like one-shotting everyone. I'm sorry if I one-shotted you. But then we were already our one game away from capping our mastery. And I'm just going to be honest here. If we faced a team that didn't have Hank, it was just over just like this last game. Like, <laughs> what are they going to do that? And we capped our mastery for the day. But we only had 800 to go, so we made the strategic decision for that last 800 to be the fastest. We dropped back down to 963 trophies for one, to still get over 100 mastery points for the game if we get star player, but two, so the matchmaking games are still pretty quick. And then now all we had to do is wait the last four hours till the mastery cap resets. But we still had some time to kill him. We needed to try Hank's damage bug in big game just to see how crazy his damage would be. And I was thinking it was gonna be like 15,000, no, 20,000, and just one shot like 
killing everybody like crazy. So we tried a bunch to get the boss, and unfortunately, it took a ton of games. But we finally got it, and let's just say I was very <laughs> underwhelmed. Oh, it's not that crazy. 6,000. I do that much with 8-bit. Okay, we are have our damage gear, so we actually do more. But Primo cancels me, so it's actually a good counter to me. Dang, bro. But fast forward a little bit and now it was on to day five the final day in the moment of the truth as soon as the skin shop reset at 1 a.m our time that means our mastery reset so we hopped right into our first game and i'm gonna be honest i was actually really really nervous because i wanted to do this fast i'm actually really nervous we're getting kills there we go okay that's a goal let's go that's another goal. Let's go. So let's win one. Seven more games. After a tiny wait in matchmaking, we won our next game easy. And we were only 600 mastery points away. And then Guillermo did something massive brain here. He switched us to hot zone, which I honestly didn't know, to find a faster matchmaking as we cleared the other brawl ball teams. And Hank here was just insane. Oh, we're in hot zone. Okay. Okay, Girk didn't play off the start, so that kind of sucks. But I didn't even realize he switched it, by the way. Dude, the counter with the Shelly. Let's go. All right. This is actually a really quick game. <laughs> being completely honest oh my gosh it's over gg am i star player though 300 away then we dominated the next hot zone game as well but the next game we went back to brawl ball and we went down a goal right away and i was nervous we were gonna lose nice goal that was big well, full sweat guys Oh my gosh, we won that. Let's go. Didn't get star player. They did. That's fine. Now that wasn't the end of the world as the next game we got star player and put us back to only 200 master points away. But the very next game, we went down 91 to 48 in hot zone and we had to make this epic comeback. Do we have this? We have this. We have this. Come on. Oh my gosh, the comeback, bro. Wasn't star player, though. Now, the next team, sadly, we did lose to an OP Dynamite, but at least we lost, like, insanely fast. So I was happy about that, at least. But we were still 120 matches away, so we hopped into Gem Grab. This time, we just absolutely dominated, which put us 16 points away from mastering Hank. That was a fast Q2. Let's go. We have to win this. And they don't, they're not even doing the strat. Okay, that was kind of broken. He muted me, and I couldn't even do anything. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. The Otis is melting me. I can't kill him fast enough. It's all good. It only cost us a little bit of time, but like two seconds. This is good. We are going to be the France first Hank Master. Let's go. And we beat before his nerfs and stuff. Because that's probably coming Monday, which is a full like 24 hours from now. For those getting up early for this one, my teammates, mastery rank up. Ain't no way that anybody mastered Hank faster than this to be Lil Tenant, bro. Yay, but wait, hold up. There was actually a man named Killer who somehow got this title a full flipping day earlier than us. At first, I thought he glitched it or was a bug or something, but I later found out since Hank released early an hour or so before the shop reset on release day, he was able to grind the 800 points before it reset, which is insane. So huge congrats to Killer for that, but at least we were the very first player to fully master him and get his title and push him to rank 35, so I'll take it. Check out this video if you guys want to see another awesome video.